Well, this is going to be a fun one to unpackage uh, standing up without any sort of table. Uh, Ruby, Volume 1, Limited Edition, Japanese Blu-ray box set. Um, yeah, I found a copy of it, and it was, uh, it was a decent price, considering you can't buy this on Rooster Teeth's store anymore. So... Uh, once again, I forgot scissors. Okay, so let's open this up. Really nicely wrapped. Can't even get it out of the wrapper. Ah, oh, that's better. Really nice. And actually, I didn't know, didn't realize this until um, I opened after I finished filming the video for the second volume opening. Is that each volume, the first one's red for Ruby, second one's white for Weiss, the third one's black for Blake. And so, if I had a really big guess that when they do a volume four uh, release of this the siding, this little sticker thing, or not sticker, but um, cover thing will be yellow slash gold for Yang. So, that's pretty cool. I didn't pick up that until until I saw I was like, oh, why is it white instead of black? And I didn't realize it until I put it on my shelf. And then me getting the first one just confirmed that it's red. So, yeah, so let's open this up. I assume it's in the same style as the Volume 2 and Volume 3 one. Um, it's just that I know since the Volume 2 and 3 one came with a card set, I wonder if this comes with something different. Uh, be careful. Don't ruin it. Plastic! Woo! So there's the back of it. Really cool. All its glory. Let's try and get rid of this. Yeah, so same same plastic thing. Uh, look at that beautiful art. Absolutely beautiful. Really cool. Same border. Um, and the same motto thing on the back. I'm not going to repeat it. I repeated it the last... <laughs> Go check out my Volume 2 and Volume 3 opening because that will... I say it in both of those. So yeah, same style. Opens up. So there is... Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's the back of it. Uh, open this up. Got a case. Got code I'm not gonna give, even though I technically I can't uh, get or redeem those codes. So, uh, boom. Uh, looking at it. Okay, so that's interesting. That's weird. Only one disc. Like, because all the other ones had two discs. Um, and it says 1 to 10, which is weird because I remember episode, there's 16 episodes for volume 1, so. Oh, no, they did the behind thing, didn't they? No, no, they didn't. What? Okay, so they're, they're, I'm, I am actually totally confused by this. Is there is there another disc? No, it's it's one disc. Huh. One disc. Okay, so that's that's actually kind of scaring me because it's like there's 16 episodes to Ruby, Volume One. So I wonder, did is Volume are they not split up? Because in Volume One, the early stages of production, 
they split up the episodes. So for like the first episode is Ruby Rose Part One, and then or it would be chapter cha- volume one, chapter one, Ruby Rose Part One, and then it would be volume one, chapter two, Ruby Rose Part Two. And then there would be a different name episode, part one, part two. So the, some of the episodes, or most of the episodes, were divided like that. So maybe they combine them. Um, so the parts, it's not split up. Uh, which kind of makes sense, because on YouTube, having them split up like that, um, <laughs> it kind of spread it out the episodes a little better. Um, but they kind of fixed that with Volume 2 and Volume 3. They made it, I think, they stuck with 12-episode formula. So, yeah, and then you got the disc score. So, Volume 3 had the bad guy, or the Carmen, had Team Carmen, which is the, the bad, <laughs> the villains of Ruby. Um, symbols on the soundtrack and then volume 2 had Team Juniper and volume 1 has Team Ruby Yang, Blake, Weiss, Ruby and then you get since there's only one disc it's um, has a picture of Ruby and it, it kind of followed suit because Ruby the volume 2 had a picture of Weiss for the first disc and the first disc of Volume 3 had Blake. So, assumingly, if they follow it, Yang's going to be the next one. So, that's... This is what the back looks like when it's unfolded out. Looks great. Awesome. Really nice. Encyclopedia. Warning, there'll be spoilers in this. Really cool. Really cool looking... Um, so yeah, since this is the first volume, they have a, more of an introduction for the basic things. Um, once again, all in the language I do not understand. Actually, there's only one language I understand, and that's English. Um, I tried to learn French, and well, it was kind of forced in school, and I sort of had to drop out of that because it was kind of affecting my other studies because... I've, uh, I have a hard enough time with my slow processing speed um, and learning disability that um, I have a hard enough time with just normal English. Um, so uh, French, learning another language, as much as I would like to, um, I always look at as I'm not intelligent enough to learn another language and if I do learn another language I'm gonna to have to push something out so <laughs> of my memory that's why I feel like if I if I learn French then English might be disappear and then I'll be like I'll be just be talking French forever you know um, so anyways um, enough I'm talking about that you got a character breakdown for the main characters uh, boo, boo, boo. And then you got the secondary characters, and they have all the ones that I believe appear in Volume 1, like, with speaking roles. Um, and then you got a character, or not character, um, chapter breakdown, same as before, but this time instead of 3, they show 4. Um, thing. So, yeah, I'm looking at it. They don't have it split up into parts. They have Chapter 1, Ruby Rose, and it's not split up. They, so they combined the episodes that were two parts together, making it only ten episodes. That's interesting. Because I, I think the only episode that wasn't split up into two parts was Players in the Pieces, um, The Stray, and Black and White. Um, so only three episodes were not split up. The rest of them had, it was in two parts. And then we got, um, interview with, uh, Grey Haddock. 
Um, hope I'm saying that name right. And I'm, I am seeing pictures of Monty Oom, um, so I'm wondering if... Uh, I, I don't know if they released the Volume 1 in Japan before or after uh, Monty Oom's um, passing. I am under the impression it was after his passing that Warner Brothers picked up Ruby for overseas. So I'm not sure if they mention it here or not. Um, I, I would definitely love to to know what they're talking here, uh, interview wise. Um, I assume it's just Gray talking, but they they there's a um, sort of a it looks like a bio for him and Monty Um But um, yeah, yeah, that's that's the last page. So. Cool. Now let's see what we get here. We got... Okay, so it looks like... Postcards. Postcards, awesome. It's pretty awesome. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's like an actual bag. Interesting. And I ripped through the bag. Oh well. Ah, you got some art that I've never seen before. Really uh, interesting style. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that's that's cool. Yeah. It always amazes me, um, shows and movies and that where it just from the one thing or whatever, there's so much fan art and and so many different artist visualization of the show and there's so much creativity um, and it just it, it just amazes me uh, I hope someday maybe I'll create a movie or TV show or something that has a you know that people enjoy and that maybe even there's fan art and fan base that's that's Amazing. Wow, that's that's a really nice one, apparently. Yeah. Oh, and each one they credit the art artist too. So that's that's cool. You ain't wearing a cowboy hat. That's something I haven't seen, like ever. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, some really nice art. Really, really nice art. Um, really, the only reason to do postcards is for the art. Because, I mean, I don't see someone actually getting a limited edition set that has postcards with special art on it and actually using them for mail. Um, I don't know if there's someone out there that does that. Wow, this is... Yeah, this is... Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Yeah, so that's, uh... Really a lot of, uh, postcards. And that looks like that's everything it comes with. I'm actually super excited to have a marathon of all the Ruby episodes with the uh, original Japanese or not the original but the Japanese dub of it because I think it will be a really cool experience uh, experiencing the opposite because in, in most anime and 
um, foreign films and that is the original language is from whatever country it's from and then the dubbed version for English is usually incorrect or um, or it has a really weird way of going around the language barrier and all that. I'm really interested in seeing the what the Ruby Japanese cast like sound like and ha re having it with subtitles. Actually, I wonder if I can watch it without subtitles because I, I I've seen Ruby enough times that I would know what happens. And I know what um, I know most of the dialogue, not off by heart, but I, I just from watching the episode so many times. Um, I do have an impression of knowing every not everything, but like um, it would it would just be a weird and neat experience. I think. Anyways. Before I go ranting on too long. So that's the Ruby Volume 1 Limited Edition Japanese box set. Like this video if you want. Subscribe if you want. It's up to you. I don't really care. But I do appreciate I do appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching. I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whatever. Thanks again for watching.